Here's a standard setup with the Cyclotron TVG. The LED's going here. And cycling through. Now, when you want to plug in a vent relay, all you have to do is to turn off power, is unplug this cable from there, take the vent relay board, it just plugs in, and then your other cable plugs in here, just so you can see this better, and then power it back up. So nothing changed in the operation, and then we now have a vent relay, and with that vent relay, I just got here just separate battery and some LEDs so you can see that, and it doesn't matter which way it goes in since the output's completely isolated. So I'll just screw in one side, put the battery in the other. Now with this thing, it should be able to be controlled now, the vent relay. So if we do the dry relay, And uh, we do have a delay on turn on time. So if I just delay that turn on time a little bit, you can see now the relay does not turn on right away with the short one. And we actually have to build up some heat in here. Now we should get a real vent. And the relay stays on until the whole thing until uh, the venting sequence is done, unless we turn it down. So we can also adjust how long it's on. So I didn't change the turn on time, just how long it would hold. Now we'll do the same thing again. Put some heat in there so we can get a real vent. There's the delay, and that should turn off sooner. So now the light's turned off beforehand. And you can make that really short if we won't even exaggerate that. And if you wanted to just have a regular, uh, how does it operate without the cyclotron, just the included LEDs. I'll just plug those in. Those, same way. No problem. It's all happy. Uh, it doesn't notice whether it's the cyclotron or the other. And, oh, left the vent on, so. See, nothing happens there. Unless we turn it way back down, say no delay. Take that. Or if we want it on during the whole time, we just put minimum delay at the start, maximum turn on time available.